Hey guys, how's it going? It's Janie over here at Janie Sweets and in this episode I'm coming at you with a tutorial on how I made this super easy tree stump poinsettia cake. So if you want to learn how to make it, definitely keep on watching. Now I made this video in collaborations with Rosie over at Rosie's Dessert Spot. Definitely check out my description box below where I will link to the exact video where she shows you how to make this super awesome strawberry tower. So don't miss out on that. But let's get started with the cake I have baked my vanilla cake in two 8 inch pans and I've just dyed one of them red and the other one green to keep in the Christmas spirit um, and I've cut them in half so that I have two layers of green and two layers of red and I'm just going to sandwich them together with some chocolate buttercream and now to make chocolate buttercream I've just melted some chocolate chips um, in the microwave and I will let them cool a little bit and then dump them in my Easy Meringue Buttercream, which I will link for you guys uh, below if you want to learn how to make that. And I'm just using it to ice the entire cake um, as well as um, fill the entire cake. So just using your spatula, just go ahead and apply it to the side of the cake a little bit at a time until your entire cake is covered. Then I am going to use my bench scraper to smooth everything out. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, don't really go crazy if you have little bumps here and there because you are going to mess it up in a second. Um, and then just smooth out the top with your spatula as well. And then using just a paler um, chocolate, I've just mixed the chocolate with some vanilla to make it paler. I am going to add it to the top because when you look at a tree when it's cut, it's usually paler in the inside. So using your spatula, just smooth everything out. And then this is called a cake comb. I am using that to just kind of pass it on the top so that it can give me that look. And then for the sides, I am just using a skewer as well as um, a fork. And I'm going to create the, what is that called? Like the veins of the tree? I, I don't know what the proper term is, but you see what I'm going for. Um, now every now and then you have to create a knot in the tree so that's literally just taking the skewer and then making little like a little round part to the I can't explain it but you see what I'm trying to say right um, so just use your fork going up and down um, don't keep it straight just kind of make it swirly and roundish um, and then yeah so once you're done with that, I wasn't happy with how dark it looked, so you know I had to use my airbrush machine. If you've seen any cakes that I've done in the past, like, what, month, I've used an airbrush machine for everything because I love that thing. Um, so if you don't have an airbrush machine, you can also use edible um, spray, right? Um, so using a Merry Christmas cake topper that Rosie got me, she is so sweet, she does sell these on her website, I will link it for you guys below if you're interested in buying any. Um, I'm going to put that on the top, and now for my flower, okay, I wish I could say I made this flower, I did not, I also bought the flower because I am absolute garbage at making sugar flowers, like seriously, I've tried and I failed miserably every single time. So I bought these and I will link it for you guys below where I found them. But if you want to make them, I will also find an awesome tutorial on YouTube and link it for you guys. So once my flower was there, I have this mold that I bought on Amazon um, to make. It's a soap mold, but I'm using it for... Um, fondant because I can. <laughs> um, I am going to make some pine cones so just struggle with it. <laughs> Squeeze it out and then you have a pine cone. So I'm just using just regular brown fondant and squeezing it into the um, mold and then releasing it um, to create the pine cone. So I made a bigger one and a smaller one and I am going to spray that again with a little bit of brown. Again you don't have to. You can use just edible um, spray or you can use um, luster dust and I wanted to add a little bit of pizzazz so this is just gold highlighter dust and I have melted I will not melted diluted it in some um, alcohol and then I'm going to paint just the edges of the pine cone just to give it a little bit of a oomph right so continue doing that and then you can go ahead and place it onto your cake 
just like so. So I've placed the bigger one here and then the smaller one right here. And then I wasn't happy with how gold everything looked. <laughs> I went ahead and painted just the edges of my flower with that same gold and also painted a little bit on the, um, on the leaves. then once I was done with everything this is what the final cake looked like I really really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if you did definitely give this video a thumbs up don't forget to check out Rosie's um, tutorial I will link it for you guys again below in the description box uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so so you do not miss any of my future videos check out my last video if you click on this annotation right over there I am on Instagram as well as on Facebook all of my socials are at Janie Sweet weeks. Um, so that's it for this week's tutorial, guys. I love you. I'll talk to you next time.